Harry here, welcome back, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to make another really quick video on some Reaper editing tips of things that I'm learning along the way that I thought I'd pass on to you guys. Last video about the editing tips was the, um, the dynamic split tool. I'm gonna to use that again, but I'm gonna use it in a completely different way today to show you a super quick way of editing guitars up. Now, for this example, I'm kind of going for like a, a metal chuggy thing, but that is purely just because it's, it's one thing that I've, in the past, spent hours and hours and hours cutting and trimming breakdowns and putting silences in and fades and then quantizing things and uh, it just it kind of makes me not want to ever put breakdowns in songs because it's just such a massive ball ache editing them but with Reaper and with the dynamic split tool you don't really have to right so for this example what I've done is I've written a really shit breakdown Just naughty as crap, but it's only for an example, so I didn't really need to make anything good. I'm going to play, trim, quantize, and have all the guitars edited in less than a minute. Let's do it. Chug performed. Right, what we're going to do first, shift and N. This normalises the gain. If you do this as you're going through the project, everything's going to be at about the same level. It's this, you know, it's gain staging basically, but you're doing it whilst you're playing. It just makes everything an awful lot easier for mixing if you know that everything's kind of coming in and coming out of the same kind of stuff. Next step, I'm going to press D. I'm going to have when gate opens and when gate closes highlighted. Can you see what that's doing? The little grey bits are the bits that it's going to chop out. That is the bits that I would sit for hours chopping. <laughs> right, so we've got all of that done. I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to decrease that a tiny little bit. There we go. So what I'm trying to avoid is over here, can you see there's a tiny little line there. I don't want that because it's a solid piece. I just want to adjust the gate until that disappears but without taking any other silences out. There we go, we're now going to press split. We're now going to highlight all of this. We're going to go on item processing, quantize item to grid, bish bash bosh. You ready? How many hours have I spent in my life doing that by hand? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And that's it, that's the tip. You can use this for anything. I use it for taking silences out of vocals, taking silences out of instrument parts, um, use it for taking, just taking silences out of stuff and things that you don't need. Um, you could literally highlight the entire project and do this in a one or at the start of the project if you wanted to and it would just make everything easy. Then what you can do for the last little step is just to right click and go on glue items and that makes it a complete piece. There you go, bish bash bosh, done. So keep yourself safe guys and gals, keep on making music and uh, I will see you all extremely soon. Bye bye.